Okay, I got one of these uh, rebounders, I guess you call them, or indoor trampolines. And you have to assemble it. And it requires these little bungees with a knob on the end. And you have to stretch them around here to be able to hook them on like I have these, all right? That is a pain in the neck. So, now these are very strong, which you, you know, they're supposed to hold up to over 300 pounds. So, uh, you can expect there's going to be some tension here. So, in order to stretch these, I had to use some creativity. The kit comes with this little device. Um, so, you can hook it on the bungee and pull it over the top but then you still have to stretch it way down to get the thing to go over this knob. So that's the issue. So let me see how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna do this one here. First I do, uh, you know, six uh, bungees around where the legs are, and then I'm gonna do either side. I'm sort of going in between to try to keep it even. So what I'm gonna do here is feed, first of all, feed this, um, bungee through the loop. Okay. Now, I have to come up and over and hook it on there. And that's where this thing comes in. So I put it like that and just lever it around. So that gets me up and over. But from there, it's a matter of pulling hard and pulling hard with one hand as I'm trying to fiddle with the other and I have to hold it because I don't want it to have it snap back and hurt my fingers or something. But it's, it was so hard. I got the first few on, but it's like, whoa, this is a huge workout. So being a physics teacher, I start thinking, is there some other way I could use some other gizmo to, to make this easier? So I came up with something equivalent of a of a block and tackle. Okay, so I have this nylon cord. I think it's nylon, some kind of synthetic, but it's a, a fairly hefty cord. And I'm gonna, I don't actually have a block and tackle, but there's plenty of smooth steel tubing here. I can just sort of do a frictional block and tackle. So I'm gonna start by looping this over opposite or close to opposite leg down here and push it up all right and now what i want to do is come over like that okay i don't have to come all the way through just loop it over all right and right there i have a two to one advantage because by uh, moving my hand a certain distance the gizmo that i'm pulling moves half as far i have two strands that i have to shorten and that gives me a two to one mechanical advantage. I move greater distance and therefore I can get a, a greater force out of it. However, if I take this loop and put it around the leg again, which I'll do here, I now have a four to one advantage. So by shortening this, uh, all four strands have to shorten. And so it basically gives me four times the force. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm gonna come up here after shorten this to get at it. Up and over. And now, as I pull on this, I'm shortening all four of these strands. Now I can just tuck this in. I say just tuck this in. It's still tricky. And you gotta watch your fingers. And that's one of the reasons why it's good to have a, a pulley system holding this, because if you're just trying to do it by hand, uh, it's easy for that to snap back. So now I just loosen this and let this come out like that. I got it. All right, so. That's what does it, basically using a pulley system as well as this lever system. So this is a good chapter on simple machines right here. Okay, there you go. Uh, I have a bunch more of these to do.